more about our STEP program, our sustainability program. Um, before we get started with um, uh, introducing you to Alan Weidman and STEP, I want to take a minute and um, introduce Dr. Randall Lemke, the Executive Director and CEO of Infocom International. Um, I say this in a it's kind of a bittersweet moment because um, this is Randy's last experience at ISC as Executive Director and CEO. That's he'll be retiring at the end of the year. But this is the first stop on the farewell tour, and we're glad that you could join us today. Um, and um, Randy today is going to be um, talking to you a little bit about the Association Infocom International and some of our new programs that we have coming up. And then we'll get right into step. Um, we have plenty of opportunity to ask questions at the end. Um, I will call on you. So without any further waiting, I introduce Dr. Randy Lemke. Thank you, Betsy. And uh, thank you for joining me today. Joe Bacchiero, uh, we're an anti-ISO standards developer, uh, and we want to really get that going a lot more. We're kind of new to that. Uh, we present uh, certification programs that are ISO accredited, uh, so our CTS, uh, and those are all things to try to raise the industry uh, from where it's been, which is successful, but to truly make it an international and global industry uh, that are you know, working uh, on standards with certified employees. Uh, we do a lot of education, uh, a lot of our programs here. We do a lot of education online. Uh, since uh, 19, well, it's been about 97, uh, we've offered uh, internet-based education courses. So we usually have, right now, about 3,000 people at any one time taking courses from us uh, uh, online and from around the world. And there's uh, some language uh, that we've, uh, you know, we've translated into uh, Spanish, Portuguese, uh, German, uh, we don't have them all filled out yet, but uh, that's certainly the ambition. Uh, one of our newest uh, initiatives uh, is, uh, is to look at the sustainability movement. And in our industry, uh, we use a fair amount of power. If you look at power amplifiers, if you look at large projectors, if you look at all of that equipment uh, that were there, and there's also it has a history of using some hazardous materials. Uh, if you look at lamps in particular with mercury and other substances, uh, our industry, like other electronic industries, has, has created some problems. Well, we're about trying to solve some of those. Uh, we uh, started an initiative a few years ago. A few, there we are. Uh, we started an initiative a few years ago uh, to uh, uh, begin to look at what we could do. We put together a group of volunteers. They represented people from around the world 
And out of that, uh, we came to develop the STEP Foundation. And in it, and I'm going to introduce uh, Alan to really talk about it a bit, uh, we've now uh, joined with other associations to create the foundation. Uh, he'll tell you more about that. But we're always looking for more partners. A lot of these still are North Americans. We want to bring on European Association, and we want to bring on European uh, participants. So with that, I want to introduce Alan Wiedman, who is our who is the STEP Foundation Executive Director. Thank you. Uh, I am Dean Alan Wyman. I've been the Executive Director of the STEP Foundation since June of 2011. Uh, the STEP Foundation was formed to um, implement and manage the STEP rating system. Uh, first of all, STEP stands for Sustainable Technology Environments Program. It is designed to encourage sustainable thinking, uh, design, and uh, performance of, in this case, all low building systems in a commercial building. We're referring to those systems as information communication technology systems. Now, as I said, the foundation was formed in June. Our members are Infocom, CompTIA, that's C-O-M-P-T-I-A. Uh, they address um, IT, both the hardware and the software. TIA, uh, which is a, a U.S.-based international association that represents the telephony industry, uh, AT&T, Verizon, and others, and Bixi, uh, which are the consultants that address uh, uh, structured cabling. Uh, we anticipate getting uh, another sustainable, uh, sustaining member in the next month or so. And so those five uh, members are managing the, the step rating system. The rating system starts with planning and goes through performance. It has some 67 credits. Um, we're building the infrastructure right now. We have 10 pilot projects uh, that we will be evaluating um, in 2012. That information from the pilot projects will help validate uh, the system, um, as well as provide information for the education programs that we will be developing. Uh, the partners involved in the uh, foundation have made some significant decisions for 2011, philosophical decisions anyway. Uh, they have agreed to develop a core rating system that should be applicable to all uh, the information communication technology systems. Uh, that would be our bronze uh, award. They will then be developing channels for each particular uh, specialty. AV, IT, structured cabling, so that a silver rating could be a four plus one channel, a gold could be four plus two or more channels, and then since the uh, current system, 30% of the credits address uh, smart building uh, technology, that they envision that the platinum or diamond rating will include smart building technology. So we're going from sustainability to smart building technology with one rating system. We intend to uh, seek ANSI accreditation for the rating system as a management standard. And equally important, we intend to seek ISO accreditation. We have a website uh, right now where you can download uh, the scorecard and uh, the guide. We have a 200-page guide that goes into a great deal of detail about uh, the logic and, and the rationale for each credit. Uh, that website is www the step foundation .org. That's one word. Um, for 2012, our uh, prime objectives are branding and marketing. We get the word out about the system. Uh, working with architects, engineers, and designers. Uh, we intend to develop education programs. Uh, we will have a set administrator and a set verifier. The administrator will be a consultant that will apply the rating system. The verifier will come in after uh, to verify that the, the ratings have been accomplished. Um, we will also be looking at the um, finalized the core rating system, submit that to ENC and ISO. Uh, we are developing a database infrastructure through our website. All the ratings will be conducted on the website, so they won't have any paperwork involved. And uh, also developing uh, an in-person and uh, outreach program, again, to get the word out. So in 10 months, we 
We've gotten four partners, possibly five. We have 10 pilot projects. We're seeking more. And in particular, I'm coming here to entice you to reach out to the community in Europe, gather involvement, get input, information, intelligence about how we can make sure that this is a rating system that applies internationally. So with that, I'll be happy to uh, entertain any questions. Okay, um, does anybody have any questions about STEP or any info programs? We're from ABQ. The 10 power projects, are there any studies? I mean, I did not uh, feel that. The pilot projects are uh, actual projects that are either in the design stage or in the beginning uh, stages of construction. Um, they are mostly U.S. based, so we do have one international in Dubai, three in the commercial uh, building industry, uh, two in the university, one in the theaters. But the intent is that we uh, do get the information. We are licensed with the, uh, the uh, both the building owner and the designers that the information comes back to us and can help inform and make the rating system better. Uh, but they are real projects. And as I said, we do intend to use them to validate the system as we go forward. Are there any other questions?